Hey guys. There we go. Turn down Fall Guys. Hey. So we are here with uh excuse me, we're here with my boyfriend Forrest. Forrest, say hey. hi. <laughs> you may remember That's my volume. Um Sounds good to me. I'm not sure how the chat. Can you talk more? Talking more about how much I love Claudia. What a babe. Jesus. Oh. I can't believe it. <laughs> it should be fine then. This is funny because I am I have the stream open on my laptop next to, so I have two two monitors, essentially, and um, you're just delayed, so <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. hearing you. <laughs> that would drive me crazy. It, yeah, I'm trying not to look at you too much, but that's hard. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I can add people to my party. I've never played multiplayer before. Well, I've never played like cooperative multiplayer here before. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be playing some Fall Guys today, and Forrest is going to be asking me some weird questions of <laughs> of uh, origin that I don't know. <laughs> I just this, this idea popped into my head earlier, and I was like, "Yes, I I'm want excited." To do this to Claudia. I want to make Claudia try to focus on weird questions while we're also trying not to die. <laughs> Jokes on you! I do this all the time. I mean, that's kind of was my thought. I'm like, "You're a pro at this." That is true. I am. I am pro. I am MLG. Pro gamer. Did you join yet? Uh. I invited you. Uh oh. Look at that. There we go. Uh, do you like my... Uh... Oh, I, I do. I like your, spl yeah, yeah, your you split skin. You yeah, can what? You. And my, uh, we both have our cool hot topic gear on. <laughs> yeah, I thought this guy looked like me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so why don't we get started here? Uh, no, not ready. Sh solo show. Duo's show. Just Duo's show. There we go. Ready up. Please. <laughs> Audio, what's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, the Ankylosaurus. I like that. It has, like, it's big, spiky, kind of turtly shell, and it has, like, the, the spiky club for a tail. I think it's a dope design. Props to the creator. <laughs> yeah, there was no hesitation there. That's very impressive. <laughs> I'm prepping for that one your whole life. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Which character in Twilight would you date and why? Which character in Twilight? I mean, Alice, because she's objectively lesbian. The I mean, yeah, but also she's objectively the hottest. I don't know, something about a girl who can see my future is pretty cool too. Um, <laughs> I don't uh, navigate along obstacles. Navigate obstacles along this perilous racetrack and reach the finish. Okay, so it's just a, just a race. I just haven't done this one before. Oh, I don't think I have either. I'm glad they've added more games since I last played. Oh my god, we have nine viewers. Nice. <laughs> Immediate fear. It's because, you know. You know. Yeah. I'm a babe. You are a babe. Alright, so we played this last night, and oh my lord. Okay. How do I know where you are? Oh, it's so um, easy. For me, I have like an arrow showing you. Hi. Okay. There's like a little Fall Guys face here behind me. Okay, got it. Um, so oh no! Last night. Okay, oh no, me too! <laughs> you said you were playing this last night? We were playing this last night, and uh, Callie on the first run got to the very end and was in first place and, and touched the crown but did not read directions and did not know you had to press shift to, uh, oh. to do it. Get it. I feel that's a oh, common rookie mistake, unfortunately. I've done that too. That was freaking 
Oh, are we at the end? Sweet. Yes, I qualified. Nice. Cool. What was the worst middle school or high school fashion trend you participated in? <laughs> I didn't. That's the thing, I didn't- Oh, uh, Ellie Angel, thank you for subscribing with, uh, Twitch Prime. Um, yeah. I was not yeah, somebody who followed trends. Uh, I'm- I was the- <laughs> The graphic teen, khaki pants, and sweatshirt boy. <laughs> it was- it was a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess- <laughs> I don't know. I really have no answer for that. Incredible. I was dressing basically exactly how I dress now, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's only been minor improvements. <laughs> well, I think you look great, so I'm sure you looked great then, too. Hey, man, I really bonded with that... How old did I say he was? That, that like, 14-year-old at um, skating the other night? We, we talked about Hot Topic. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here too? Oh. I'm not. Wait, what the hell? You're not here, are you? We didn't qualify. Wait, what? How did that happen? Did you did you finish? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Maybe you didn't finish in a high enough place? Maybe I didn't finish in a high enough place? I came in like How 27. Do How do we escape? Hit escape and then leave show. Okay. That's what I thought. Well, R.I.P. I guess. R.I.P. Next one. Ready. It was us as well. We grew up solely on t-shirts and straight jeans and autism brain could not comprehend that clothes actually went beyond that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's mood. God. God, those fucking low-rise jeans, though. Death of me. I... you know? I can't believe they're coming back in. Please, children, don't do this to yourself. Children, if you're doing this to yourself, make sure that you dress exactly like uh, Manny Sanchez in the hit show Degrassi The Next Generation, Season 3, Episode 1. Um, ah, shit, what was that episode called? I know it. You you gotta... Oh. Degrassi, Season 3, Episode 1. Oh no, it's episode three, I'm sorry. You got the look, that was it. Okay, thank you. We were really on the edge of our seats on that one. I'm glad. Episodes one and two are the two-part father figure episode where Emma meets her birth father. Ah, uh, I see. Who was a character in Degrassi, uh, Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. Well, Degrassi Junior High. He fell off a bridge and suffered a traumatic brain injury. Damn, I hate when that happens. Yeah. After doing LSD. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that. <laughs> no, oh, Scribbler says they were on the Fedora trench coat circuit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, guys. No, no. The clothes we own are still our high school clothes. So that's all we own. Nice. I still think you're probably doing better than we, we did. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like I another definitely French coat. I definitely have Fedora, not that wore it, but definitely owned one. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. No. So, so I got shoved off! This is homophobic. Can't believe Fall Guys is homophobic. God. Hashtag hey. Fall Guys is over party. Yeah, exactly. These people need to all chill. Aha! No! <laughs> uh, put me on the fucking doors one. I'm good at that one. I know, I've never done these ones. I guess those are new ones. Oh, I got on the wrong. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I almost fell. I hope you're doing good wherever you are, babe. <laughs> I'm behind you. Huh? Shit. I'm doing okay. I really hate these rotating fans, like, a lot. Same. Hi, baby! Hey! Ah, oh, are you oh, kidding no! me? 
Hey, hey, stop trying. Ah, are you kidding me? Fall guy slides around too much. <laughs> I feel I feel like the the biggest dummy. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, come on, this one has a Oh, we're done. Eliminated. Baby, are you still there? Hi. Um, where is Forrest? Forrest, if you're talking, I cannot hear you. I gotta... Hello? Hi. Oh, there we go. I oh, man, happened. I was giving you so much encouragement that entire time. I heard nothing. I, th I thought that I thought that you were just very quiet. No, I was like, this one sucks. I hate the fans. Yeah. And then I was like, you're doing great. Slow and steady, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your AIM screen name? I don't remember actually. So I've used I've used a couple like base screen names over uh, the time I've been on the internet. You got eliminated too, right? Yeah. Here. It's just not letting me leave. Escape! 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 Also, I forgot to leave. You got to remind me things, babe. <laughs> you know how I am. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so you don't I remember any of them. Uh, I remember one, but I think that I used it in enough places that I don't want to say it on stream because I don't want people to to track down shit that I said when I was fourteen and stupider. Wow, really fair. <laughs> um, ours was Pyro Girl one 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 thirteen. Mm -hmm. Um, Red Machete thirteen. Mm -hmm. Um. Ready, baby. Oh, thanks. Um, see, I can't do. I can't talk and <laughs> play at the same time. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Oh, excess dopamine was one of them, because I was taking AP Psych. <laughs> <and just laughs> learned about that excess dopamine can cause schizophrenia. <laughs> Big oof. <laughs> <laughs> you know that is completely on brand. It is. It is. <laughs> I haven't played this one before either. Yeah, like, this I had is so rough. many things to fall guys. And, well, yeah, I wonder if it's because we're doing the duos and they don't have the same ones. Maybe. As the singles. Because I didn't get any of these last night. Interesting. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> you will not pry our AIM screen name out of our hands. <laughs> Jesus of the jeweler. Honestly, you're so valid. So <laughs> valid. Ah, oh, man, but what was your favorite AIM way message? I I don't think I really had one. Oh, you were missing out. There was a whole culture of that. Oh, not this one. I did see Riley play this one, and it looked rough. <laughs> I think I think you should learn by now that I was not involved in culture. Typically, I'm not cultured. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. It's only recently that I've become the hip and cool girl you see before you. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this one's just a. Oh, oh, there I go. <laughs> okay. Oop. This one is hellish. It's so hard to fucking see. I'm getting really bullied by these, like, rotating things. Yeah. Oh, I really don't like this. <gasps> oh, I made it! Oh! God. 
Oh my god. Oh, I made it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? I keep trying to run, but like, guess what? This game Ooh. doesn't work like that. Ooh! I made it. You made it? Oh, good. I am doing really bad. I <laughs> know, oh, baby. Can you- are you watching me now? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Where even are you? <laughs> I don't know. I believe in you, though. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> No! Fuck. Ooh, there you go, there you go! Oh, baby. I can't see the slides in the way. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Oh, Jesus. There we go, we made it. That was stressful. Nice job. Thank you. Top 50%. Also, hello to, to everyone in the chat. It's so exciting to have you all here. Yeah, hey guys. Is that an Among Us? Are these Among Us skins? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, yeah, you can you can buy them for like $12. That's so much. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. It's... Now, if it was 1200 V-Bucks, it would be more more understandable. Exactly. No, what I was, what I was saying to Riley last night is, uh, if you have a skin that you clearly spent a lot of money on, I'm cooler than you because I don't have a skin. <laughs> saved my money. And didn't spend money on Fall Guys, but I know this logic breaks down immediately because I just bought the goth witch in Fortnite. Yeah. So... Yeah. You, sometimes you, you do what you have to do, you know? It's true. Another obstacle course. What's a word you mispronounced your entire lot at life? Uh, miracle. Really? Miracle. Oh. I don't know if it's an accent thing or what. What is happening? I feel like we're in a toilet. Oh no, it's it's another version of fucking seesaw. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's all it's all good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Man, this one's a fucking killer. I kinda like it. It's it's good for my sensory seeking brain. Yeah. Oh. My god. Did I where am I? <laughs> okay, I see. I, it's back and forth and back and forth and up and down. Ah, damn it. I forgot you had to. I hate the slippery surfaces. Uh. Oh no. Ooh! It worked! You did it? I, um, held onto that, like, swinging, like, trapeze thing in the middle. <gasps> I did, and then I fell! Because I released it! Oh no. Okay, I made it. And, oh, I, no, no! Oh, come on! I don't think we're making it. Damn it. Oh, no. This part here is hard. Yeah. You're going backwards, baby. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. F. <laughs> This reminds oh, me of when I was in Girl Scout basketball and- Make sure to exit. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Girl Scout bas basketball. And, uh, you know how, like, the basketball, like, teams switch sides, like, on the court halfway through? Yeah. Yeah, I would always forget and, like, go <laughs> make baskets in the other team. <laughs> oh, baby, no. <laughs> uh... I have always been a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> 
What are more questions, baby? Tell me your questions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Um, me for for words I pronounced wrong. It was um, I had to I have to think about how to say it. Mm -hmm. Episcopal. I really want to say Episcopal. Oh yeah, <laughs> you've mentioned that one. Yeah, I told you the story about that one. <laughs> um, hey, what's your best dad joke? Um. Uh. Oh God, I don't know jokes. Uh. But you're a dad, Claudia. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm system dad, but <laughs> not like a dad. Um, excuse me? Have you seen your button ups? <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> You're a little bit dad core, and it's really good. Mm, that's fair. I'd like to think of it more as Snake from Degrassi High or perhaps Gonzo. Oh, um, yeah, you're right. You are Gonzo Core. <laughs> uh, dad. Dad joke. Okay, tell me Riley's dad joke. What is small and round? Mm -hmm. And orange. An orange. Paint? Uh, uh, no, not an orange. Orange paint? Small, round, orange smells like paint. Riley, we give up. Just a little bit of orange paint? A small what of orange paint? I don't like this, Riley. That's a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Riley, you gotta up these. Come on, I know you have some better ones. Riley, what's oh. red and smells like blue paint? Um, Claudia wants to know what's red and smells like blue paint. Is it red paint? Yeah, it's red paint. <laughs> okay, fuck the fists what in the middle. What do you do here? Oh no. Just, just go around the side. It's not worth it. Except I made it. Ah, well, fuck you. Oh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, oh, I did it! Yay! Good job. Good job to you too, baby. Thank you. Scribbler says, "Talk about switching amnesia." I don't really have switching amnesia. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, looks like what my mind feels like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the polyfrag experience. <laughs> this is my inner world. <laughs> Oh, that was about Forrest's basketball story with regards to this. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll blame it on that. We'll definitely blame it on that, for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Okay, what is your... De oh, this is a little bit more boring, but what is your de Desert Island book? My desert island. I mean, Slaughterhouse Five, probably. Um, it's it's my favorite book. <laughs> v says, "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, V has a copy now. She should read it. I think she's planning on it. Good. Um, what about a uh, movie? Desert Island movie. Desert movie. Island movie. And this is movie buff. Um. See, like. There's a part of me is that it, is it the Brady Bunch movie that we're watching later tonight? <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't actually seen that since uh, 2012. 2012 was the last time I saw it. I was on a. Um, I went to an LGBT conference with um, my my school's like uh, GSA. Um, it wasn't called a GSA, it had a different acronym that I don't want to give away because it's too specific and it would <laughs> maybe tell people what school I went to. Um, but uh, the the e-board of the club uh, went to the um, went to the fucking you got uh, it. conference. You got it. There we go. And um, I feel like this is sucker's trap, but I'm still gonna go for it. Whatever. Shoot for the moon. I'm okay. Going for it. 
Um, oh, wow, I really got yeeted really <laughs> far. <laughs> oh, we're in second place, baby. Nice. Uh, now we're in third. <laughs> I am not going that way anymore. That's a bad way to go. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I like these spinny things. I can fuck with these ones. Not these ones. Uh, the other ones. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. So oh, fucking man. hard. How do you get off this one? I feel like they made this faster since the last time I played. Okay, okay. Go to the middle. Uh. That's what I'm doing. Go to the middle. Oh my god, this is so- Oh, I made it! Oh, I'm so close! Fuck! No pressure, but eight seconds, baby. Oh, no! No! What was the question again? I don't know! No, fuck! I was so close! Oh, Alright, exit the game. I it, like, five times. <laughs> Not even exaggerating. Make sure you exit, baby. I am, I am. Um. Uh, yeah, Desert Island movie. Oh, Desert Island movie. Oh yeah. Um. You know, a lot of my favorite movies have like sad elements to them, except for Airplane. Airplane would be my Desert Island movie. Oh, oh I was talking about the GSA trip though. Um. Oh yeah. Yeah, we went to we went to this uh this LGBT conference and um, I actually had a really nice time there. Um, I got to spend time with uh. Three three friends um, from the club there, uh, and they were they were all really nice guys. Um, that was actually the first place where I met a tra another trans person in person. I didn't know I was Aww. trans yet, but I met other trans people. I actually have a photo of, with of me with one of them oh that was just taken God. candidly. He was a nice guy. I would love to see that sometime. Yeah, that's really sweet. Yeah, I. How old were you? Uh, I was not quite 19. This was like April of 2012, so I would be turning 19 um, that that June. That is really cute. Yeah, and we were in the we were in the hotel, and we were just we turned on the TV, and the Brady Bunch movie was on, and we enjoyed uh -huh. that. RuPaul has a cameo in it, so... Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. he was getting around back then. Yeah. We just saw him in But I'm a Cheerleader. He was in that clip I sent to you. Watch. The, you know, come back when you're pregnant. <laughs> I don't know if we watched the whole clip. Oh, you should have. Well, we're gonna watch it, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh, no, not the thick bonkus. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, I'm going around side, bringing it around town. Good call. Me too. The center is a fool's errand. It's true. Oh come on! Fucking, flung fucking assholes! <laughs> really? I can't. I can't get on one. <gasps> no! Come on! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh god. There we I go. It. I made it too. Yeah. Oof. Um. Yeah. So that was on. RuPaul maybe is most famous now, but his true golden era heyday was 2011 to 2015. Interesting. All right. But yeah, Brave Bunch movie is good. As far as I remember, it doesn't have anything terribly offensive in it, but I, it, again, it's been 10 years since I've seen it, and when I saw it then, I was basically only half watching. Yeah, whatever. Also, I, I made a... Your age really well. Yeah. Um, I, I actually made a Brady Bunch movie reference on the podcast. I don't remember what episode, oh, but, yeah. um, but I mentioned... Did it say eliminated? No. That was uh, something we were watching. Oh. What? No. What? How did we get eliminated? Wait. Excuse me? No, wait. We're not. 
What? I mean, let's see, but I think it just said eliminated. I did see myself fall out of the thing, but then when I said escape, it was like, are you sure? Because you're in a thing. I mean, it always does that, I think. Okay. This is, uh, this is homophobic. Yeah. All guys is cancelled. Weather questions you got, baby. Um, okay, turn off your listening devices, FBI. If you could rob a bank without anyone knowing, would you do it? I... Uh, I mean, in theory only. I would never, of course, <laughs> uh, destroy the sanctity of the... of the federal... Uh, currency. Oh, this one's making me dizzy. Oh, it's because we're not playing. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta exit, baby. <laughs> like I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> yeah, you would never do that, but but yes, you would. Yeah, I mean, in theory, if I were perhaps one of the characters in Heat, <laughs> if I was one of the clowns at the beginning of Dark meant, Knight, I thought you meant in Heat. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like <laughs> not like ABO. <laughs> I would totally do it in Minecraft. Feds know about in Minecraft now, according to Chelsea Manning. Oh my god. Well, thanks for the heads up, Chelsea. MVP. <laughs> okay, um... Also, I don't know what my Desert Island book or movie would be. I was trying to think of what it would be. I honestly don't know. Hmm. Okay, what about vi Desert Island video game? <laughs> Fall Guys, am I right? <laughs> I mean, that's hard because, like, I don't want to bring Psychonauts or Psychonauts 2, my favorite games of all time, because I, I feel like something more open world is probably more uh, better. Yeah, I think Minecraft, honestly, like Scribbler said. Yeah. That's that way I can do things in Minecraft. That makes sense. You could you could make a cool ass desert island house mm -hmm. in Minecraft, Minecraft and then be <laughs> be really sad in the real world. Um, <laughs> but okay, okay, okay. The real question is, what is your desert island hygiene product? So mm. we're talking toothbrush. We're talking toothpaste. We're talking deodorant. We're talking bath bombs. We're talking lotion. Like we're a single thing. Stuff. A single thing. You can only bring one thing with you. I mean, like, the practical part of me wants to say, like, to toothbrush. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you can also just, like, do that with your finger well enough to not, like, die. Oh god, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say shampoo. Fair. Infinite shampoo. I feel like mine would have to be lotion. lotion. I just hate being dry. Oh no, but they got like, I could make oil. I could make coconut oil, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally a thing I could do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problems, even. No problem. <laughs> alright, alright, come on. There we go. But honestly, I, I don't know how I would live without a toothbrush. I mean, how we are with the oral hygiene. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you already know the one of the grossest things about me, which is that for a couple of years I didn't brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. Don't ask why. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> Neurodivergence. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> on a dessert island. Yeah, if you're on a dessert island, you gotta bring a toothbrush. <laughs> Qualify. No, um, what type of mineral would you be in Minecraft and why? What kind of mineral would I be? Yeah, they have amethysts now. Ooh. I think I'd be an amethyst. Interesting. Did we Where get to stay in this time? <laughs> yes, we get to stay in this time, baby. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> what else you got for me? Um, how would you describe yourself in terms of D&D &D ability scores? Ability scores? 
charisma, intelligence, strength, and stuff. I would say, I mean, obviously, like, 18 is the ceiling here for me. Um, You're going to give me actual numbers divvied up into... Yeah. Is this not what you asked for? I was, I mean, I would just say I'm high charisma, low wish. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that uh, if we're doing it like that, I would say I'm high charisma, high whiz. Um, high intelligence. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I would, I'm going to be humble and say that I'm high everything. I, I would agree, <laughs> but I'm maybe biased. Um, I mean, not strength. You gotta, you gotta work on the. You're, uh, you guys are getting, you're gonna. Yeah, get we're doing that. Though. So I'm gonna say we're like a, a nine strength. We used to be higher, but uh, skill degradation. Okay, cool, cool. I believe. I believe also. Fuck you. No, we're not doing fuck it. Fuck you all. No, fuck you all. Oh, damn it. Round over. Ah. Eliminated. Well, I'm having fun anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's still it's a good game. <laughs> um, quit squad show. Right? Or should I wait? Um, wait until the next round starts, because I want to get my get points and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they don't give it to you if you if you leave before then. It's like, why do I have to wait through another fucking loading screen? You have to wait. This is the worst part of this game. It is offensive to me as an adhd -er <laughs> that I have to sit through so many loading screens, and it doesn't automatically take me out when I am done. Yeah. Like, it's rude. Uh, what kind of mineral and dwarf forcers would you be? So, so Ooh. Um, I would say I would be like, I would be one of the red gems, like a, a red, um, red jade, is that one? I don't know if that's... I, I definitely don't know. <laughs> Riley had a question, but it's not very family friendly. <laughs> How not family friendly? Um, would you say that Batman drives the car or is in the passenger seat of the car and why? I think he drives the car. Interesting, interesting. I think he needs to relax a little. Yeah, I think he should let Catwoman drive sometimes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ready up, Pete. Uh, I'm still in the rewards thing. See, that's what I'm saying. This is not accessible to me. <laughs> I can't pay attention for as long as it wants me to. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, what is your Wi-Fi called and why? Uh, our Wi-Fi is called uh, Osono Bakery because it is uh, the bakery from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is significant to us and the Soxes. Which character from Kiki's Delivery Service would you be? Uh, Tombo for sure. <laughs> he's he's the boy with the bike, right? I have no that's idea. his name, Tombo. People in chat would know. I think it's Tombo. Oh, there's no there's no red jade. Uh, I'd be lavender jade then. So I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, tracks. It is Tombo. I knew it. Okay, we got this one again, baby. All right, fuck. I kind of like this one. It's fun. This is like really what my brain feels like on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Make sure you orient yourself correctly. <laughs> I'll try, but I do not know how to go straight in my life ever. <laughs> Luna Rabbit say that they would also want to be the buff baker guy. He's the opposite of their genders, but he's, uh, but they love him. I want to be the cat. Yeah, GG. GG's a good boy. True. I would either be Tombo, but like the part of me that thinks I'm way cooler than I actually am says that I would be the the artist girl. Mm -hmm. Did you just fall? Or are you somewhere else? No, I'm just. Wait, I'm in first right now. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm going the correct direction. Oh, I let go. Damn it. Oh, 
Fuck you fucking assholes. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, I was doing so well too. I was literally in first. You hate to see it. No, I always let go of the shift. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately let go. Come on, buddy. Whoa, okay. I like, got? Shift again. I like I'm incapable of not letting go of the ship. Oh baby, I made it. Oh no, fuck! <laughs> no, we're in 20 seconds, how'd that happen? <laughs> it's because I can't let go of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. I can only let go of the ship. I, I feel like Homer in, um... Nice job. I feel like Homer in... Oh, we're in we're Qualify, that's great. That episode of The Simpsons where, where Lisa goes vegetarian and the they fire the... Or like, ha, they ha, pit the pig? You know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> really? I, put, I thought if anyone would, you would. Um, where You're gonna have to describe the scene better than pig. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would get it. Um, Lisa, because Lisa's going vegetarian. They, uh, they're having a barbecue, and she sees like the the roast pig, and she's like, "Oh God, it's horrible!" And I think she somehow like sh sh shoots, like sh she throws it. Somehow it becomes on a journey where it like gets <laughs> shot really far and like goes in the river, and it's like bumping into stuff. And the entire time, Homer and Bart are following after, being like, "It's just a little wet. It's still good." It's oh yeah, I do remember that part. That um. is good sh good shit. So that's that's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Simpsons episode? Um Probably you only move twice, which is the one with Hank Scorpio. Um, I like so many Simpsons episodes. Um Ooh. Which one are you talking about? The one where Homer gets a job and it turns out that he's working for a supervillain. But he just like really excels at this job. Oh man, I don't remember this at all. We're gonna have to watch it. That's a classic. I think that's season 8. And I want to say that's I mean, episode 12. Oh, the force field. <gasps> no, 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 let me through. Oh god. If anyone out there wants to look up what a season and episode you only move twice is, I would love to know how how close I am to getting that numbering right. Come on. Um, other Simpsons episodes I love are man. Now I'm struggling to think of Simpsons episodes. Uh, Cape Fear is a classic. Which one's that? Um, that's the one where they go into witness protection. Uh, oh, yeah. And Sideshow oh. Bob, like, tracks them down. <laughs> the, that was the one with the rake. The rake yeah, that's the one with the rakes, and that's the one with HMS Pinafore, which is my favorite Gilbert and Sullivan operetta. Fuck the Mikado, frankly. Yeah, I, I totally agree. <laughs> and, uh, Pirates of... Ooh, ooh, uh... Pirates of Pen Penzance, is that what it's called? Fuck that yeah, one, too. I don't like that one. No, how are we in 19th all of a sudden? We were doing so good. I'm at the end. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. I, I had a real hard time on some of the early bits. Yeah. I only fell once, which is honestly shocking. Nice job. I'm almost there. Season 8, episode 2. So Ooh, so close. We're uh, 15th, though. And top 15? Oh, no, we're 16th now. Fuck oh, that. Oh, man. Bullshit. Anyway. What other questions you got, baby? Um. What's your favorite Arthur episode? Oh, oh that wait, one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> My favorite Simpsons episode yes. is... The one um, with the really spicy pepper. And then Homer has a, a vision journey. Through oh, the yeah. 
That one's really I good. I love that one. I don't know what it is. I just, the visuals have always like really stuck with me. Yeah. I also really love the one where um, Homer's mom comes back the first time she comes back. Oh. I forget what that one really is called. Um, okay, yeah, tell me a uh, favorite Arthur episode, very important. Favorite Arthur episode, I mean, the one that always comes to mind for me is the one where uh, Binky steals Buster's joke. Oh. Buster, like, um, Buster is supposed to do a report on King Tut, and he just, like, does not really do the report, but he, like, plans a killer joke for it. And then he tells it to, to Binky to like see how, like before class to see how it will be received and Binky finds it hilarious. And then at the end of his Christopher Columbus report, Binky tells Buster's King Tut joke. <laughs> Binky told a King Tut joke at the end of a Christopher Columbus report. And, um, oh, that's right. We're not in this one. <laughs> you can leave. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Buster, uh, Buster's in the talent show, because the talent show's coming up, and instead of actually doing a comedy set, he does, like, a two-minute rant about Binky stealing his joke. And just, like, the, the pettiness and, and <laughs> bitter jealousy he feels are just so relatable. Um, I also love the one where, uh, Buster comes back after, like, being away for so long, and, um... Oh, yeah, and Arthur's, like, reading all the books. Yeah, Arthur's, yeah. Arthur's been, like, doing all this stuff with Brain, and he's gotten to, uh, Crespo the Merry Magician. And, I mean, how could Arthur catch Crespomania? And, <laughs> like, uh, Art Garfunkel is in that, he's a singing moose. Oh my god. Um... Man, what else? I love Arthur. If any, if any non-millennials in chat or millennials, for that matter, haven't watched Arthur, please do. It's Arthur slaps show. unironically. Slaps really hard. Let me see the list of. It's got a lot of really good themed episodes. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of themed episodes, I love the one um, where uh, they all write pitches for a TV show. Um, an episode of a TV show that they like that's thinly veiled Arthur. <laughs> um, I don't remember that either. It's a good one. They they parody all sorts of shows. Like, they do a little South Park parody, a uh, Beavis and Butthead parody. Um, they do a parody of Dr. Katz, which is a deep cut TVH. That really makes sense. I feel like that's very on brand for the creators. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck these frogs. Yeah, fuck frogs. <laughs> these frogs aren't even gay, I heard. <laughs> oh, I'm really struggling on this one, okay. Got this, ooh. What's my favorite uh, author episode, you ask? Yeah, well, sorry, I... One way to... Oh, you're fine. I have one way to answer that, and that is having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. Yeah, that's uh, Jekyll, Arthur's. Hide Jekyll, hide, hide Jekyll. That's Arthur's not live, almost real music show or something like that. Oh God, I just got so fucked up. But yes, yeah. having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. It's true, and he should say it or sing it. Having fun isn't hard. When you've got a library card. Uh. This one is so rough, and I just went, I just yeeted myself off the fan into nowhere because I didn't know where I was supposed to go. Oh, fuck. So. I hate this last part. This last part feels so fucking unfair, to be honest. It does. Ah! There we go. I made it. Good job. Um, though, no. I'm looking at best episodes of Arthur here. Oh, the blizzard is really good. Um, this is rough. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's 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 pretty bad. I was there oh, too. No. <laughs> I, I go between them. I believe in you, baby. Oh my god! All right, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. 
<laughs> okay, so this list I'm looking at lists um, April 9th as one of the best episodes, which, I don't know, it's okay. It's the 9-11 episode, but it's not 9-11. It's, like, in response to, like, what kids might be feeling post-9-11. Um, the school, the school, like, um, has a fire. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Oh, uh, Best of the Nest is also really good. The one where they're playing, like, a, uh, an online game, and they're, like, all trying to, trying to fucking win. Mm -hmm. Um, where five geese fight to survive in the virtual woods. As the competition escalates, Brain becomes inspired to initiate a camping trip in the real woods, because he dies immediately and loses. Um... <laughs> Contest and prove it. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the one that I that I mentioned. The contest is one with the episode, the different style parodies. Make sure you remember to exit baby. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm trying. It's not letting me. Prove it is okay. Oh, I was so close with that title. Arthur's almost live, not real music festival. Very good. Jekyll, Jekyll, Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll, 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 Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde. <laughs> I would say turns 100 is okay. It's it's fine. God, I just I just remembered something about some, V and Oak talking about Mr. Rapper and being gay. Oh yeah, he's gay. That's a good episode. I don't like that it's flash animated, but like the last ten seasons are flash animated. So what you, what am I gonna do? I'm an Arthur classics only kind of person. His sister is Jane Lynch. The original 100. That was a Pokemon joke. <laughs> there were 150 originals. Uh, ooh, I almost have enough to buy more clothes with my K points, whatever those are. Mm, they're kudos points. Cool. All right, are we done with Arthur? <sighs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> We're never really done with Arthur. I will never be. But yeah, okay, you move on. Okay. Okay. If you were uh, a kid at Arthur's school, which kid would you have a crush on? You know, I want to. I want to say Francine, but honestly, I would. I would either have a crush on Fern or Sue Ellen. Oh, Fern! Yes, or Sue Ellen. Even yeah. though. Towards, like, the middle of the series, there were way too many Fern episodes. <laughs> and way too many George episodes, let's be real here. I am done with that boy and his puppet. There were too many George episodes. There's there's a season of Arthur where Arthur appears in, like, one episode. Oh my god. I am passionate. It was, like, two years of just George. <laughs> they should have just renamed it George. George is getting upset. <laughs> What's your Seinfeld skit about that? <laughs> <laughs> they named the worst character after me, Jerry. <laughs> this George guy, he's a, he's this wimpy kid he's with the puppet. Kind of personality. <laughs> that was me responding as Jerry. <laughs> no personality. You think that if they give him the name George, he would be dignified. And Elaine is like, yeah, dignified. That's that's a word that describes you, George. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, this is a lot. Ah, uh, I can't like judge depth in here. Yeah. I can't judge depth in real life, so. Oh come on. That was bullshit. No. Oh. No, please! Just let me in! the fan for me, I guess. I hate this part. <laughs> oh, I, oh, no! Oh. I hate this part. This one sucks. What's the strategy here? Oh, shit. I don't... Strat here, Claudia. I don't know. I've not I'm played this one the before. fan and hoping for the best! <laughs> Seems like it. Fuck! I didn't... Oh, that actually almost worked, but then it didn't. Okay. 
Ah. Oh my god. Did you get past it yet? Yeah. Oh my god, I feel trapped here. Oh, we're done. Now. There we go. <laughs> not not you and me, me and this other guy who also got like trapped here. I got past it! Oh, shit. What? How are you supposed to do- Oh no! Oh no, I hate this one! <laughs> this is like the anti-me, I can't do this. Okay, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can, Forrest. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not doing it. This one is hellish. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> hellish. Hellacious. Hellacious. What other questions got for me, baby? Uh, what actor would play you in your movie about your life? Um... Uh... I don't know. That's a- that's a tough one. Because now I'm like, do I get a do I get a trans woman to play me? Do I get a cis woman to play me? The world is your oyster. I suppose. Now do I do I get somebody who like looks like me in you know world? Make sure you exit. Thank you. Um. Oh, I know who I'd cast as you. Who? Charlie Theron. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Scribbler said, "Imagining Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> she can play anyone. She's a chameleon. <laughs> Let me get Meryl Streep to play me. Oh, I love that for you. I think she'll do me justice. Yeah, that's great. Uh, if your life was the expectation versus reality meme, what would the two pictures be?" Uh, I mean, I could, I could do a really sad one. <laughs> it's like expectation, me holding a PhD, reality dropped out of college. Oh, oh no! Nah, give me, give me a posy one. <laughs> um, okay, the the expectation of my what my life. Uh, as a content creator with multiple partners is, and it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like me floating in a pool in a mansion, like surrounded by bikini models, but instead, but a uh, reality is me, like hunched over a computer. <laughs> like, reality is this stream. Yeah, reality is this stream. <laughs> Which is fantastic. It is. Um, okay. There's an accent. Oh. oh, we're right next to each other. Hi, baby. Yay! Plus, we got the boomer row here. All the millennials and zoomers in the back. <laughs> Love that for us. We got every uh, advantage in yeah. life. Oh, I didn't jump, so I was stuck for a minute. That's really sad. Alright, great, great, great. I'm following you, my queen. Okay. Oh no. Everybody get off my ass. Good. Check. Oh, hell yeah, babe. Thank you. Following you. As I do. Ah. Baby, when we get down there, try and get hit by the hammer so we get launched. Okay. I did a little bit, and then I fell. Come on, let me in! Damn it! Yeah, no. 26. Ugh. Big oof. I got hit, but then I just, like, fell down. <laughs> oh, that poor guy up there. <laughs> uh, what is the most pog meme? Most pog meme? Um... I still think Steamed Hams is the most pog meme. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good meme. Um, I have re I have really has a have a soft spot in my heart for Spiders George. <laughs> it yeah. just it just really speaks to me. <laughs> Got statistics. God. 
Um, okay, how about... I'm almost out of questions, baby. Oh. Uh, best horror movie? Ooh, um, The Thing, probably. That's kind of a lame answer, but... Scream? No, I'm sorry, what am I saying? Saw. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot who I was for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> the, the saw enthusiast has logged on. <laughs> Ready? Skip, 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 skip. Um, I really, really, I don't know about favorite. Um, I feel like I have to really think about it. I'm really bad at. I'm asking you all the favorites questions, and I'm really bad at answering favorites questions. <laughs> I, I know you are. Oh, that's the, you know. We can also do, would you push the button? Ooh, that's good. Um, but I really liked, uh, oh god, what's it called? Train to Busan? I don't know that one. Korean zombie. Hmm. It's good. Nice. I don't, I don't watch a lot of foreign horror movies. I've seen, uh, Let the Right One In uh, and the, the original Ring. Yeah. It's, they're so good, especially Korean horror is like really good. Mm. Um, I remember in high school we were really into the original um, uh, one mi or one miss call, and uh, there was like one about a f photograph or something. <laughs> yeah, it was that. <laughs> it was the Nickelback song. It was the horror movie. All along. <laughs> oh, the bouncies. Zoomies. So bouncy. Oh no. Oh. Ooh, are you seeing me, baby? No, I'm getting crushed by him. Chad, <laughs> please tell me I'm poggers. Can you go over that? Oh man. Okay. I know you're poggers. Thank you. Done. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Oh no. Thank you, thank you for the Susan Pogs in chat. Get out of my way. You did it! Oh, hell yeah! We like suddenly became 18th all of the nowhere. Yeah, it's because like your score added to my score. Ah, okay. What accents can you do? Please demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think anyone who's seen me, uh, who's seen me do any game where I have to, where I have to narrate has seen me do bad accents. Um, yeah, I've got, I mean, I've, oh no, I don't want to do accents unprompted. What do I even say? <laughs> Let's... Give, me, give me Aussie. Aussie, um... See, Aussie is hard. It's, I, I do, I do, I think I do New Zealand better than, better than Aussie. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know, what are you saying New Zealand accent? <laughs> I don't know, something about Lord of the Rings? <laughs> something about Lord of the Rings? <laughs> That's cute. I'm into it. You and me are pretty good friends. History might even say best friends. <laughs> History might even say we're best friends. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Shout out to any Kiwis in the audience who are up at like... Oh, I guess it's like noon there, probably. I was talking uh, briefly to my friend I used to game with in like 2020. Oh shit, are we playing? Yeah, we're playing. Um, and... Uh, about... Uh, we were just like catching up a little bit and I was like... Cause he's in he's in uh, dentistry school, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh man, like so he's like, yeah, it's been crazy. I'm like, so happy I finally get a break, and I was like, oh yeah, summer vacation. And he's like, oh, it's winter here, and I was like, oh fuck, I forget <laughs> that happens. I forget that's a reality. Yeah, our friend Veronica, uh, check out Veronica Triumphant on uh, Twitter and YouTube, by the way, um, friend of the show. She's in Australia, and she was like, she was like, is like. 13 degrees here Celsius, I'm dying. And over here, I'm like, oh, wow, it's like 85 here. Mm -hmm. 
I believe I would be boiling if I were in Australia because you all use Celsius. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, can everyone please tilt to the other side? I'm dying. <laughs> I really hate these. I really hate them. Oh, thank god. Okay. No! <laughs> Thirteen centigrade is so nice. How hot is thirteen? Because thirty-seven is like ninety-eight degrees. I love that fan. Also, I'm sorry, all of you Celsius people. Fahrenheit is actually a superior way to to measure temperature, like for body heat and things. Like, if you have, like, the difference for a fever, it's like thirty-seven point one versus 37. It's like, what are you even doing? <laughs> Ow! 13 Celsius is 55 Fahrenheit. Okay, maybe she said lower. I mean, you would freeze at 55, let's be real. It's true, I would freeze at 55. <laughs> I don't I'll... know how you exist there in the wintertime when you were cold in California in March. It was so cold. <laughs> I wanted to wear my tank tops. And you guys were not- would not turn on the air conditioning when we were there. It was so hot. It was not hot, it was cold. <laughs> it was like 80. Oh wait, when you were here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it was- it was- it was hot, but we didn't turn on the AC because it was nice. <laughs> oh my god. And see, like, that's always been me. Like, that's always been how we are. So I don't- I don't understand how I've met a colder person. <laughs> Uh. Um, also, this is wholly unrelated, but Gray posted in our plurality chat uh, a tweet that has a shirt that says, Every cool girl is half a boy. Ooh. <laughs> like, Biogender or plural? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Alright, we got um, eliminated. What is your sensory nightmare? Uh, like everything. <laughs> um, existence. Existence, yeah. Okay, what is your, like, worst sensory thing that you hate the most? Um, getting crawled on by tarantulas covered in jelly. <laughs> Nick! Why is it so specific? I don't like sticky. I don't like wet. I don't like tarantula. I don't like hairy. I don't like I things just, crawling on me. have that ready to go? <laughs> it's just what I thought of. Oh my god. Your and quick baby, baby. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Um. How about weirdest crush as a child? Weirdest crush as a child? <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like is it? Uh, Lumiere from Animals Beauty and the from... Beast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's not weird. That's just the queer experience. <laughs> <laughs> He's so <Yeah>, charming. <laughs> Um, that's like most of my questions. Let me see if I can. I mean, they get less interesting. Um, what was the first R-rated movie you ever saw? Ooh, I don't know. Um. Was Serenity rated R? No. no. Not nearly enough blood and guts for that. I want to say maybe Clockwork Orange. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, it was pretty late in my in my. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Um, I don't know either, but I I do know that me and Danny would consistently rent Jaws and Poltergeist because they were both rated PG because it was the eighties. Yeah. <gasps> Serenity was rated R? Hey! Not, there's like not even Wait, Serenity 2019 was rated R. Oh, that is not. <laughs> That's a different Serenity. I was thinking of. I'm thinking Serenity 2008, I think. Oh, test for knowledge. It's sometime pre 2010, and I think it's sometime 2005? 
Oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. That's it. That just proves how long XKCD has been running, because one of their early comics is about excitement for Serenity coming out. That's amazing. Oh my god, Randall what do you buy too much of, but never seem to have enough of? Uh... For me, it's hair ties. Uh, yeah. Um... Ice cream. <laughs> Aww, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, I'm yeah. still a, a fish food girl. Uh, I love food is I love Ben Jerry's. I do enjoy the Aldi's Make Fudge Not War. It though it is a a um a sad substitute at times. There was one time I got a I got a kind of Make Fudge Not War, and it had like no fudge in it, just none. No, no brownies. Uh, oh. How could they do that to you? Fuck, where were we supposed to go? That one just like had nowhere to go. Fish food is great. Only three years after Firefly. Man, Firefly was 2002? Yeah, dude. No, come on! Well, you know what they say, you can't take this guy from me. Uh, <laughs> I don't care, I'm still free. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting really... <laughs> I'm doing really bad on these. This one is so much worse than the regular Seesaw. I hate it. I really hate it. This reminds me of Rainbow Road, for some reason. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Favorite Mario Kart track? How about that? I haven't oh, played enough Mario Kart, Mario Kart or really. Mario or whatever. Really? Oh man, we should play. I might actually win. <laughs> not, okay, okay, okay. Oh fuck! Uh huh. Yeah, well, you, I'm not, now I'm behind you. <laughs> really? Oh man. Here, let's take this drum way. What could go? Uh... <laughs> Everything could go wrong. I was just laughing because I was remembering about how you wouldn't share your ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm selfish about my you indulgences. Have, like, three pots. <laughs> Sorry. No, babe, assert your boundaries. I'm selfish about a couple of things. My ice cream. Ice cream's one of them. You get one. You get one. It's your turn to take a selfish, as they say. <laughs> and. Uh, another thing is my my body wash and shampoo. Oh yeah, I remember I remember one time I used that and you were like, "Hey, that's a lot." <laughs> yeah, you you kind of like poured it on. And I was like, "Babe, that bottle was like forty dollars." I actually just had to buy. M no, I'm not making it. Oh. <laughs> I just gave up. I was so far away. I was literally like ten feet. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> uh, one more round? Yeah, let's do one more. Does being an influencer sound like heaven or hell? Well, you already know. It's fine. Top and I mean, we're not huge, so like, I'm sure it's worse if, if you're not huge. Or I'm sure it's better if you're not huge. But like, I like think we have a nice little dedicated audience. Yeah. Um, I think that we have a nice following. You do. And I think that we have a diverse following too, because especially with like the how the podcast has been going. I mean, Danny Collins tweet. I'm sure that we're gonna get some mom listens. Yes, new episodes out, y'all. Yeah, new episode Listen. came out on Wednesday. If you if you didn't been, like this one, yeah, we didn't like this book. Uh, Three little words podcast where friend of the show Nicole and I read and rank romance novels on their steaminess, meminess, and dreaminess. It's good. Right, who would you date so, from from every, every? I mean, I think I'll know the answer, but who would you date in uh in all the romance novels you've read so far? Um, am I like me still? Like, am I am I still a dyke? Uh, however you want to answer that question is up to you. I mean, if it's if it's me as myself as someone who is not attracted to men, mm -hmm. then I'd say.
probably a tie between like Gisela Drummond from uh, Virgin to Redeem the Billionaire and uh, Edith Stone from Wildfire Griffin. Yeah, Edith's a babe. Oh, I'm so excited for you to get to the uh, the other heroines in uh, the upcoming Wildfire series. Me too. If Got some real babes. If it's me as a gay man. Which I am not. <laughs> I then I would definitely date Vaughn from uh from Love Me Whole. And which of the altars? Uh... <laughs> Warren. <laughs> like <laughs> like thinking about would I date them in real life? Like maybe when they're further into recovery like what once they're yeah. towards the end of the book they seem great but early on they seem like a lot of work like me and cove would go party yeah you mean uh, cohen yeah whatever <laughs> it's not whatever those are two very different characters oh yeah i forgot that was the two c names <laughs> you're talking like oak versus dice <laughs> <laughs> I would party with both Oak and Dice. So. It is. It just they would be very different parties. It's true. Oh man, I would love to do some like most likely twos, but like for system members. Mhm. Mm oh no, all of us just plunge to our death. I know you're but dead. I don't have any off the top of my head. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Do you remember your like worst school photo? Nope. <laughs> I think all of my school photos were pretty terrible. Yeah. Done. Ours would probably be ninth grade, which was uh following like i don't know several hours of crying uh oh because of lesbian love triangle no oh. nonsense no come on what are you doing baby <laughs> i don't know <laughs> whatever all right no, no. get out of my way Ooh, you cut him off baby oh if i do that just go off to the side yeah I could go that way. Let me in! Man! <laughs> nice job. Hey, squad score 69. Hey, nice. <laughs> Top 20%? What would, vanity, what would your vanity license plate be? Um... PNK DYK Punk Dyke. Oh, really good. I still cannot believe you got that tweet, Twitter. Yeah. You call it username, I guess. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter individually at Punk Dyke. So good. I was just simping on my Twitter at you. I know. <laughs> um, mine would be the number four, and then like T H. And then M E M E. For meme? For the meme. Oh, for the meme, okay. What's something you believed as a kid for way too long? I know a lot of these are like childhood based questions. Yeah, these are. <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think I believed as a kid for way too long. I, mean, <laughs> I have several grim answers, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I believed in Santa till I was like ten. Oh, 
thing right. Here? Oh, close! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, fuck! Did you make it? Oh. I thought we made it. That's so annoying. 16 from the top 15 qualified. Fuck off. Uh, fuck off. Let us in. The round's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, this guy's just decided to give up. <laughs> One of the teams that already won is going to be like, never mind. <laughs> if it's a and Claudia, they really need this one. <laughs> do you want to do uh, one more? If you do. Yes. Alright. I want, I want these points, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a Sonic skin. What's the weirdest thing about you that most people wouldn't guess from looking at you? That I'm plural. <laughs> um, I think that you're a, a maestro violinist. Oh, I'm not a maestro violinist. <laughs> Any day now. Yeah, maybe maybe that I'm learning violin. I don't think people yeah. expect that typically. Thank you for focusing camera, Jesus. Yeah, I agree. Chat, you got any more fun questions? Uh, any most likely twos? Those are fun. Oh no. Oh, I forgot. I have to exit. What? I just was exiting the yep. show. I just exited myself. Favorite emo song? How could you target me songs. like this? I never listened to emo music. But like Claudia, come on. <laughs> There's gotta be one, or at least a band. No, I'm sorry. Claudia! I have nothing, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have to break up. <laughs> Alright, see ya. <laughs> you just have to listen to my playlist. A lot. <laughs> That's true. Like, I've already made you. Um... That's true. And I have enjoyed it. I don't have any particular favorite songs, so. Uh, fuck. I'm gonna go with The Day That I Die by Good Charlotte. It's a very upbeat, plucky song about the day that I die. <laughs> I kinda <laughs> love that. And that whole album is really good. Thanks. Charlotte doesn't get enough attention, honestly. Good Charlotte is one of those bands that I remember hearing about a lot in like middle school. Yeah, that's when I listened to them. It was like Good Charlotte and Evanescence in middle school, and then. Bunch of other shit in high school. <laughs> oh no, Link Park. Everything that V still listens to. What? Everything that V still listens to. Yeah. We love V. <laughs> I'm getting kind of good at this middle part. Motherfucker. Arrows. Fucking hammers. Fucking hammers, though. Fuck the hammers. Yeah, the... the... Yeah, it's good. Oh, 20 second! Oh! Oh! Come on! Come on! We might have it in the bag. Yes, we barely qualified, which is still a qualification. Uh, what's your number one psychology advice? My number one psychology advice Completely is... Completely qualified to answer this, and should. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourselves. Uh, there are typically reasons for things that you're doing. Take time to explore yourself and have fun. 
be kind to other people. Try to get a better job. <laughs> that helped me. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, we can do this one, baby. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You just call them out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they have a, a sweeper here now? That's not fair. Yeah. Well, I guess it's more interesting. Okay. Mango. Orange. Apple? Apple, orange. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. <laughs> No! Oh no, baby. Keep going, baby. Keep going. I fell. <laughs> We're Wait. terrible at this. <laughs> How is our squad still in? I don't know. I, I mean, I guess our squad is still technically in it. Is it? We haven't technically been eliminated yet. Oh, fair. Um... Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't really understand how this worked, so I didn't know where anything was. So this is for the best. <laughs> <laughs> also, hey. Hey, Tams. Hey, Tams. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I've got one. Favorite, uh, uh, favorite show tune. Favorite show tune? Uh... Shit, man. I don't know. That's that's so tough and broad. I know. Um I mean the ones I can think of right now are like um are like one day more from the Miz. Uh on the street from rent. I, I love counterpoint, to be honest. Um, the Joanna Quartet from Sweeney Todd. Uh, that's, that's what I'm thinking. How about you? All the choices. Oh, God. Uh, I think that was my last one, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, fuck. I don't know. Come back later. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna go with All That Jazz. Oh, that's good. Oh, man, I forgot about that's a Chicago. good song. Um, I like, uh, Give Him the Old Razzle Dazzle from that show. Mm -hmm. Both of, uh, Richard Gere's songs in that are fucking fantastic. Oh, I, yeah. I All I Care About Is Love. I can do the whole, uh, um, just you reach for the gun. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes, 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 reach for the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, oh yes, oh yes, reach for the gun, for the gun. Copyright claimed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for anyone, for anyone who didn't see this on our Twitter, when I um did my little like ukulele playing stream, uh. Body sounded a, exactly like REM. Yeah, I apparently sounded so much like Michael Stipe that I got a copyright claim on it, and when I decided to fight it, uh, CSAC said, no, uh, in fact, this, you're still not, you're, this is not fair use, and let me give you a copyright strike, and if you get three of those, your channel gets deleted. Luckily, it was just our VOD channel, and also, they get, uh, if you go to quote-unquote copyright school, which is like, you just fill out a questionnaire that says, I was a very bad girl, uh, you, the strike goes away after like 40 days or something, which is still oh, fucking yeah, stupid. Girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have played OEM. <laughs> it wasn't my material. <laughs> I didn't write it. No one on YouTube has ever covered a song. Yeah, no. Not, never, ever, in fact. 
Who? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for the stream. Any any final words, maybe? Thanks for hanging out, y'all. This was super fun. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for hanging, guys. And uh, to me at Skater Himbo. <laughs> yep, Skater Himbo is is Forrest's personal Twitter. Uh, my personal is Punk Dyke, and of course we are Alexandra is our regular Twitter. Um, I also have a podcast, Three Little Words Podcast. You can follow that at the Three LW Podcast on Twitter, um, or link link tr dot ee slash the Three LW Podcast uh, is our whole shit there. Um, tomorrow we're going to be live on YouTube at our usual eight thirty time for uh, the rest of Final Fantasy VII. So help me God. <laughs> there is no option but to beat it tomorrow. I will literally stream for as long as it takes to beat Final Fantasy VII. I don't care if it becomes a 24-hour stream. You can do it. You're so powerful. Thank you, baby. I know. <laughs> I'm so I'm so powerful and handsome. It's um, true. <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.